Hi everybody, in this bigger play tutorial I'm going to show you how to add links into your Xmine mind maps. Very easy process and a really useful little feature for lots of different things, so let's take a quick look. So, as it says here, there are a few different things we want to talk about in terms of adding a link. So if I just zoom in here a little bit, the first thing is what might we want to link to? Well, there's three things really that you can do with an Xmind. You can link to a website, you can link to a file or a folder on your own computer, or you can actually link to a topic within the same mind map, which is particularly useful when your mind maps get quite big. To be able to direct yourself over to a different part of the mind map is quite useful without having to use lots of relationship lines. How do you do linking? Well, there's three ways you can sort of access the same feature. The first is up in the main menu, as you might expect, by saying insert, and just scrolling down here, and you can add in hyperlink. Now here you can see you've got lots of options here to enter a web address, so we can say www biggerplate.com as an example say OK and that's added in a hyperlink that if we click that that's just going to pop open our web page just as we like it there so there's our link so that's how you can link off from the main menu alternatively if you don't want to keep going up to the main menu every time what you can do is just right click with your mouse and again there's an insert click down here hyperlink and the same options again with web file and topic so there's an important thing here that I use all the time in Xmind, which is shortcuts. Really good way of saving yourself time. You don't have to keep moving around the menus. So again, this shortcut in Xmind, if you want to create a hyperlink just without using your mouse, is just to hit the control key and the letter H. And again, that opens up the same dialog that's going to enable you to post a link into your topic to any of these things. So how might you use the linking? Well, Let's take a look at this very, very sort of simple example down here. Let's say you're planning a party. You might have a catering as part of your party plan, and you might have food, you might have drink, and maybe we want to say one of our drink items is buy beer. Well, you might have a website up, nice and convenient. I've got one up here, which is a brewery that's near where I grew up. Excellent beer, English beer. And you could just take this web address up here, copy that, and then come across and can use any of those mechanisms we could do the right click insert you see we've got all these different options but the one we want is hyperlink I can just paste that save that and I've got my little reference here for when I want to buy beer this is where we're going to get it from the great guys at Hope Norton in Oxfordshire so what about if we wanted to save uh, a link to a file well again we can use the same principle I'm going to use control H this time and we could link to a file. So again, we can say enter a path through a folder or a file. We can say choose a file. It's going to pop open a dialog looking at our different uh, files on our computer. And let's just say for the sake of example that we're going to link, let's say this is our catering menu for the mobile bar perhaps. We can say save that in there. And again, that's just a link to a file. If I click that, that's going to open up my uh, file that I saved within that link. You see it's just popping it open down here, a little bit of delay on my computer, and there's a logo file. So the same principle applies, oh, it's popped open twice. Again, the final thing we might uh, link to is actually a topic within the map itself. So we might say link to, uh, again I'll do control H, link to a topic within the map. And again, this is really very useful when the maps get very big. This is just a simple example at the moment, but we could say adding a link to a topic and you'll see a little different symbol here so you've got three different symbols this shows you that it's linking to a website this shows you that it's linking to a file or a folder and this shows you that it's linking to a topic in the map so when your map gets very big if you see this symbol you know that you're saving a little topic icon that shows you you can link to somewhere else if I click that it's going to take us up to that uh, part of the map up there. Really, really very useful when you've got big maps with a lot of information and avoids having to have lines all over the map that messes up the visual. So that's how we add links in an Xmind Pro mind map. I hope you'll find that useful and hopefully you'll get started with that right away. For more tutorials and training, head to biggerplate.com as always or subscribe to our YouTube channel.